Hello, and welcome to some new shed. Today is Newsday. And today in news we have... Dolphins forming the equivalent of boy bands to attract a mate. Bloke gets Tesco's club card tattooed on arm so he'll never miss a bargain. Chess robot breaks seven-year-old boy's finger. And that's the news. Well, who wants to go first? I don't know, I think, I think we need to find out about the, uh, probably the most dangerous predator of the ocean first. Uh, keep tabs on these people. Uh, so. Dolphins are, um, are forming boy bands in Australia. Well, can we have some of the names of the bands, or? Uh, well, it, they well, I wouldn't be able to pronounce them. Uh, they're in they're in dolphin language. Um, All right. But uh, basically, uh, what's been observed is, uh, well, let's see. Uh, marine scientists in Shark Bay, Australia, uh, say the local dolphins are turning to song and dance to attract a mate. Uh, you'll hear this click, 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 and the pace and the tempo will be matched by these tightly bonded males in this bromance world. Uh, Shark Bay Dolphin Research Alliance co-coordinator Simon Allen says. So, so basically, they're making dolphin noises in, in rhythm with each other, and uh, apparently they're doing synchronized uh, dancing to it as well. Uh, like Dr. Allen has named the dances, uh, the, the butterfly display uh, and the tango. Um, well, our dolphins just great. Yeah, they're lovely. Um, as, lo- as long as as long as you don't look too attractive to them, I think they're great. Uh, yeah, I was always banging on about how you know how amazing dolphins are. Oh, they're so amazing. They're so smart. Yeah. Well, have they ever built a house? No. Well, they don't have fingers. Well, I mean, it's, it's a bit of a bit of a hindrance, really, when you can't hold anything. Um, I'm more of a shark supporter myself, so I'll decline to comment on the situation. Well, I'm basically, just it's, too. Are, do- are dolphins rapists? Well, they're known to be nefarious in the sea. Yes, <laughs> they are. They are particularly um, over eager sometimes with divers. Go, uh, go straight for the blowhole, do they? Well, not on a diver, but yeah, they yeah they, they're quite. <laughs> uh, they can be quite aggressive uh, in that in that way. Is there any more to the story, Mister Gray, or are we moving on? Um, well, there is. There are more details to it, but really, you've you've got all the all the important bits. And the dolphins are doing synchronized displays together, and they're attracting attracting the ladies. So uh, if you're a if you're a female dolphin out there, don't get sucked in, because you know they only want one thing. Um, well, you're blue. <laughs> I hope they come up with more inspirational names than One Direction and Blue. Blue, that'd be a good name for a dolphin boy band. Well, it's not one for a human band. I mean, you know, I, I'm, I'm desperately trying to think of some puns here, guys. Uh, sea life instead of west life. And you could just have uh, like like dolphin zone. I suppose we're showing our age a bit here. Aren't we? I mean, don't know any of the. Oh, never mind. Yeah, JLS dolphins. I was going to say back <laughs> back straight dolphins, but then that just sounds really dirty. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Backstreet boys, but it's like boy instead, of like the floating thing. Yeah, to be honest, uh, that 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 makes sense. To be fair, Backstreet Boys sounds pretty bad as well. That sounds kind of like Rent Boys. Right, moving on. Bloke gets Tesco's club car tattooed on arm, so he never misses a bargain. Seki forgetting his Tesco's club card every time he goes to the shop. One man has come up with a way to ensure that he never he never leaves home again without it by getting a QR code tattooed on his wrist. They may he paid. £200 for a permanent tattoo of his club card, QR code, at a star tattoo in Chesterton, South West London, last Saturday. They now has his card on him all the time to ensure he never misses out on the supermarket's range of discounts and deals. In a video that's since gone viral on TikTok, tattoo artist Dan Roster is seen stenciling the, the QR code onto a sheet of paper before transferring it onto Dean's wrists. Tattoos is then seen working carefully with his needle to replicate the intricate code in the hopes that he'll be able to scan it at Tesco's. Ingenious or stupid, only one way to find out. In the video, both Dean and Dan head out to the nearest local Tesco shop and attempt to buy cookies using the code. Unfortunately, in this instance, the angle is too odd and Dean can't quite bend his arm enough to make the code scan. Oh no. It looks like failure, but when they try their luck with the cashier, he's able to scan the tattooed club card. So basically, I think he wasn't able to do it at the, like, self-checkout himself, you know, because he, the machine, he has to point his arm, like, down and try and 
angle it. Right, okay. So he went he went to a cashier and they're able just to do it with the scan gun. That's amazing. That work. That's that sounds really useful, not gonna lie. It would have been funny if it just didn't work. TikTok users have been left impressed by the tattoo, so an expert so expect to see some copycats and depending on how many different discount cards someone owns, a couple of armfuls of QR codes could be in the near future. Could he get his uh could he got his money back if it didn't work? It's like, well, the tattoo, I asked for a barcode, and uh, it doesn't work, sir. So I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure they must have gone through the, gone through the yeah, it's probably not going to work, talk, uh, <laughs> at this, whenever they, they sat down for it. But, Get it turn, turned into a square and yeah. come up with some meaning behind it. All compliments to the tattoo artist to actually replicate a, a digital code like that. And that's, <laughs> that's amazing. It'd be really funny if it, uh, it worked, but it was somebody else's QR code. <laughs> <laughs> There's some comments. One said, late game capitalism, as another joked. Tesco's, you've got to change this me- his membership number. A third <laughs> added, that's brilliant, while the source wrote, fucking class. Fucking very class. Ins- very insightful comments right there. That's pretty much it. Is this a bloody stupid TikTok video that this stemmed from? Is that what this is? Yes. Uh, of course it is. It sounds very TikTok-y, as in retarded. <laughs> well, the lad Bible thought it good enough to do an article. Oh, if Lad Bible says it, then it must be true. Uh, um, it's definitely true if Lad Bible says it. Like, moving on. Moving on. Evil chess robot nearly murders child. That's not what it says. It just says chess robot breaks seven-year-old boy's finger. Uh, the boy's parents intend to contact the prosecutor's office, said the Chess Federation president, saying his organization would try to help the family. Basically, it's like uh, it's like a ma- uh, you know what the Russians are like with their uh, chess? They yeah, love their chess. They're, they're quite fond and, of it, yeah. Uh, they're pretty mad over in Moscow about it. Um, but this was at the Moscow Open. And uh, it was around last week it happened. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Lazarev, who I'm assuming is the... Uh, he's the president of the Moscow Chess Federation. Um. He says, the robot broke the child's finger. This, of course, is bad. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> anytime there's like a Russian spokesperson or like, you know, like, you know, just to give the stupid uh, PR yeah, always... <laughs> speak. It's just like, it always seems to be from Russia. Like, their PR speaks just friggin. It's like stating the obvious and it's stating the fucking obvious. The robot was rented by us. It has been exhibited in many places for a long time with specialists, he explained. The child made a move, and after that, we need to give time for the robot to answer, but the boy hurried. The, the robot grabbed him. We have nothing to do with the robot, Mr. Lazareth added. Um, so basically what he said was, not my robot. Yeah, not my robot, and uh, it was the kid's fault anyway for uh, not respecting the robot. Uh, it's not clear whether any safety instructions were issued to the boy before playing with the robot. Um, the boy played the very next day, finished the tournament in a cast, and the volunteers helped to record the moves. Um, the boy is probably a little bit uh, the prosecutor's office again, and uh, the robot operators apparently will have to think about strengthening protections so that this situation does not happen again, Mr. Lazarev said. He's really, really trying his best to pass the buck, isn't he? Under to me. That is, that is the communist way, isn't it? Although he, uh, he hired the robot, which if it's communist, I mean, technically the robot's his as well, so... Oh, they're not communist anymore, I mean, but, you know, it's obviously a mentality, isn't it? It's the... Oh, it wasn't me, it was... Uh, ever see that? Did you ever see that uh, Chernobyl drama? Uh, everyone, nobody, nobody accepted responsibility at all, everyone passed it on. Yeah, obviously, exactly, it's like everybody's fault. Obviously this isn't as uh, important as the Chernobyl thing, but it's... Um, you, can, you can kind of see the mentality, I suppose. So, who won the chess match in the end? Well, the boy won, uh, conveniently enough. Ah, oh, well, there you go. That was revenge. I don't know whether he played. It, it was at a chess <laughs> open, so I don't know whether he played against a human opponent or against uh, another robot and beat the was, robot. Was the uh, robot unplugged after this incident? That's maybe why he won by default. Well, they probably just switched on to easy mode. You know, easy mode chess, and the boy probably beat it in like two moves. So yeah, there you go. So, sir. I'm going to assume that the, he just, the boy went to move a piece at the same time the robot went to move a piece and ended up just grabbing it. By the finger? I assume that's all that's happened. Yeah, well, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Well, I hope you enjoyed these news stories. Until next time. Bye-bye. Bye.